Hi guys, welcome back to your strengthening and toning series. Me and Jess are here to help you get super strong for your yoga practice. So today we are working on our waist, our obliques, our abdominals. So we're starting sitting down, however it's comfortable for you. We're gonna interlace our hands and stretch our arms up to the sky, lengthening up through the middle and just warming up to begin with. So we're gonna take a little tip over to one side, up through center and wobbling over to the other side. So just taking a little glide from one side to the other, loosening off through the ribs, the sides of the waist, gently warming up through the area that we are going to be working on today. Nice and loose going from one side to the other. And then stretching up through the middle, we're going to hold onto our right wrist with our left hand, extending the arm as we tip over towards the left side, lengthening out through the right side of the body, grounding your sit bones down. Keep your arm where it is, but drop your left hand down to the ground as we take more of a tip over towards the left with the right hand, still stretching out through the right side of the body. and then come back up to center. Let's do all of that on the other side. So taking both arms up to the sky first, lengthening through the middle, then holding onto your left wrist with your right hand, taking the dip over towards the right side, lengthening out through the left side of the body. And then dropping your right hand down to the ground as we take more of a tip over to the right side, pressing against the floor, pressing against the brick, whatever we've got there keeping our chest wide open, keeping your sit bones grounded. Still breathing. Lifting back up to the top, perfect. From here, we're just gonna stretch out more through the side of the body. So extending out your left leg, keeping your right leg bent in. Chest is square towards the right leg as we take a lean down towards the left side. Keeping your chest wide open, keeping your right shoulder back, taking your right arm up and over by your temple, stretching into your fingertips. Don't worry about reaching down for the foot, we're just working to stretch out through the right side of the body. And releasing back to centre into a spinal twist, taking the left hand across to the right knee, pushing against the knee as we twist around looking over the right shoulder. The right hand can bind around behind the back, trying to grab the left inner thigh if you can reach. Using your exhale to twist further. And release, let's do that on the other side. So stretching out the right leg, bending in the left, flexing through the right foot, chest square towards the bent leg side as we lean down towards the straight leg side. Allowing your left arm to sweep up and over by the temple, stretching into your fingertips. Still grounding both sit bones down, keeping your left shoulder back, keeping your chest wide open, still breathing. Lifting back up to the top into our spinal twist, the right hand over across to the left knee. Pushing against the knee, twisting around to the left side. Left hand can bind around behind the back, trying to grab the right inner thigh. Pushing against the knee, pushing against the leg, helping the twist. Rinsing out through the waist. And releasing back to center. Let's just turn ourselves over, move everything off the mat. We're gonna stretch out first into a downward dog, lengthening up through the spine, through the arms, through the sides of the waist. Tilting your sit bones up towards the sky. Just re-energizing the body here. 
And then resting back down. From here we're coming down into our plank pose. So our elbows want to be out directly underneath our shoulders. And then we're interlacing our hands and just pushing down in front. Broadening through the shoulders, we can stay on our knees or lift up onto our toes. Engaging your mulabanda, keeping your hips low. Getting a nice straight line through the body. Working through our waist now, we're just going to drop our hips down to one side, up through the middle, dropping the hips over to the other side. So we're tapping to one side, we're coming back up through the middle, and tapping over to the other side. So the wider apart you have your feet, the more stability you're going to have in this move. Feel free to drop down to your knees whenever you need to. Twisting through the waist as we drop down. From here, let's add on. We're dropping down to one side, coming back through the middle, and then pushing our hips up high into our dolphin pose. And repeating. So back to the middle, dropping down to the other side, pushing the hips up high, dropping the hips back down low into the plank pose. Still working through the waist, working through the core. We are getting some shoulder work as well. Everything is connected, so we can't completely isolate certain body parts without working some other body parts. That's fine, we like to have strong shoulders. Tapping down, pushing up, tapping down, pushing up. From here, let's come into a plank but stack the hands. We're going to come into a side plank, opening up towards me first, extending the top arm up to the sky, staggering your feet just to help with the balance. Lifting our hips up high, strong through the core, and changing sides, rotating around away from me now, extending up the top arm, lifting your hips up high. Still breathing. Allowing your feet to twist with you, with your body. Not dropping the lower hip down. Rotating back through middle, looking at me again. Stretching up into the side plank, pressing down through the lower elbow, through the lower forearm. We are strong, we are stable. Last time, changing sides, back through the middle, opening up. into your side plank. Rotating back through middle, looking at me again. Next time you're facing me, we're gonna add some little pulses. So we're pushing our hips up high and allowing them to drop down naturally. So pushing up, just focus on pushing up. Pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. And then changing sides, exactly the same. So twisting away, lengthening up with the arm, lifting up the hips and allowing gravity to pull them back down. Just focus on the push up. Don't worry about pulling the hips back down. Coming back to the middle. Let's lift up into a full plank now, pushing up into a downward dog. Downward dog is our resting pose today and you are welcome. From here we're coming into a three-legged dog, so we're extending our right leg up to the sky. We're shifting our weight forwards, bringing our knee with us and the knees coming to the outside elbow and to across the opposite elbow. Back up to the sky and shifting forwards, out to elbow, across. Lifting up, shifting forwards, elbow out and across. Driving the knee, working through the obliques, working the core strength, working the glute strength, working your shoulders as well. If it's too much to be up high, then just drop down to the knee on the left side, that's fine. You can work exactly the same. 
Driving the knee, twisting through the body. Still breathing. Changing sides. So this time we're going to extend up with the left leg. We shift forwards, bringing the knee with us. Exactly the same. So three-legged dog, knee comes to the outside elbow and across. Knee, leg up. Out and across. Pointing through the toe all time to keep the leg working. Engaged and active. We do get a slight release when we push back into our three-legged dog. pushing back into downward dog shaking your head relaxing your shoulders downward dog is our resting position coming back into a plank position this time we're up high our right hand is going to tap our left hip and then we're going to twist up and into a side plank coming back to the middle right hand taps the left hip twisting around opening back up so this is your side plank and we're just transitioning from side plank to the middle plank but it's a lot harder on our obliques, on our arm, because we're not tapping the right hand down, we're tapping the opposite hip, but squaring our hips down to the ground, opening up out to the side, allowing your feet to twist along with the move. And releasing exactly the same on the other side. So this time, the left hand taps the right hip, we twist up and out to the side, extending the arm, twisting through the feet. Squaring ourselves back to the ground before twisting back up into the side. We are still breathing, we're still drawing our belly button in really tight to protect our spine. We're still enjoying it. Of course we are. Still breathing. Coming back into our plank, pushing back up to down dog, and now resting back into our child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide apart, sitting back on your heels, stretching your arms forwards. From here, we're gonna lift up our body. We are working with our oblique still, but we're working in a kneeling position. We might need a break. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. So we're keeping our left knee down. We want to make that knee as comfortable as you can. Our right leg is extending out and we're squaring our hips forwards, allowing the right foot to turn forwards, not out to the side. The brick is down at the left side and then we're reaching out to the left, bringing our hand down to the brick or down to the floor and sweeping our right arm up and over by our temple. This is our gate pose, keeping our chest open. You can drop the brick lower, you can drop down to the ground. If you don't have a brick, that's fine. Stretching out all the way through the right side of the body. Transitioning from here, we're just going to shift our weight more towards the left side. So we have a slant from the left knee to the left hip. Stretching out as far away as we can with the fingertips first and then we're crunching our right elbow to the right knee and extending back out. Crunching in, extending away, tapping elbow to knee, stretching away. And coming back up to the middle. So from here we're coming into some dippers. So we're going to just tip our arms down to one side and back up to the middle. Aeroplaning our arms down to one side, back to the middle. So we're always aeroplaning our body, our arms down to the left side and back up to the middle. So never down to the straight leg side, always down to the bent leg side. That is your first option. Our option two is bringing our fingertips to our temples. Elbows are staying out wide. The rest of the move is exactly the same, tipping down, lifting back up. If you imagine you're between two panes of glass, you don't want to tip forwards, tip backwards. 
that's what we're aiming for. So your body should stay in one line, just going down to the side, not sticking your bum out, not sticking your head forwards. Staying with this option or a third option is we can clasp our hands and send our arms up to the sky. If we have a brick, it's quite nice to place it between the hands, lengthening up, and then taking our tip over to the side and back up through the middle. So this is so much harder because now our arms are extended, there's more weight above our head. We're loading our core even more as we tip down and lift back up to the top. Don't be afraid to come back to any of the previous options. Working with what's best for you and your body. Releasing, placing our brick down just in front of the right ankle, turning the right foot out to the side, flexing through the foot, extending your arms, coming into a half triangle, reaching over to the right side, bringing the right hand down, extending our left arm up and over, stretching out into our half triangle, our half trikonasana. And lifting back up to the top. So let's do all of that work, but with the other leg. So this time the right knee stays down, the left leg comes out, turning the left toes forwards, extending out with the arms. Into our gate pose first, reaching out to the right side. Right hand comes down to the block or the floor, reaching your left arm up and over. Dropping the block lower if you prefer, getting that straight line from one hand all the way down to the heel. And then shifting your hips more over towards the right side. Let's add in that crunch. So crunching the elbow to knee and extending away. Crunching in, squeezing through the side of the waist, extending out. Just like at the other side. Extending away, crunching in. Slow and controlled movements. And releasing into our dipping now. So arms extended out, our first level, we're just aeroplaning down to one side, back up to the middle. Tapping down to the right, lifting back up to center. Remember the twist the work is into the waist, so we do have to shift our body about as well. Our second option is fingertips by the temples, elbows out wide. Tipping down to the right, coming back up to centre. Down to the bent leg side, back up to centre. Still drawing our belly button in tight. Still breathing. third option is clasping our hands, taking our hands above our head. Or we can use our brick, extending our arms, the brick overhead as we tip over to the right side, back up through centre. Remember we stood between those two panes of glass, we do not want to touch either one, so we are tipping just down to the side, we're not tipping forwards, we're not tipping backwards. You do not have to travel too far to be able to feel the move. And you can drop down to any of the previous levels, whatever is best for you. And releasing, coming into our half trikonasana, turning out with the foot, flexing through the left foot, block is in front of the left knee, reaching up and over with the right hand as we tip down over to the left side. Keeping your right shoulder back, keeping the chest wide open, extending out into the fingertips. And lifting up 
releasing the leg. Let's make our way up to standing. When we get there, we're gonna want a brick again if we have it. If not, then just interlacing your hands and taking your arms up to the sky, that's fine. We're gonna lengthen up through the middle. We're twisting around to one side, coming back up through center and twisting over to the other side. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, twisting around to the side. So keep flowing with this movement working with your breath but as you do it your hips are locked in cement so they are not going to move anywhere your hips always want to be square to the front we're just twisting around from the waist and above we're extending up with the arms with our block if we have it trying to keep our arms by our ears we're rinsing out through the waist And releasing back down. So our last move is going to be in our trikonasana pose. So we're going to take the left toes in, taking the right foot out. Bring the block if we have it just in front of our right ankle. Arms extended, chest is square, reaching over to the right side, hand is down onto the block, finding our triangle pose. Extending up with the top arm. However you usually do triangle pose is fine for the moment because we're not going to be here for too long. We're going to extend the left arm up and over by the temple. We're going to take some of the weight off of our bottom hand, just fingertips down and then if we're ready we can extend the arms in line with the ears as we are tipped over to the side. Adding some movement we're bringing our arms, our body back up to the top. And then back to tipping over, over towards the right side. Back up through the middle, tipping back over to the side. And lifting back up. So working the sides of your waist just like when we're down on the ground. Tipping down, lifting back up, not leaning forwards, not leaning backwards. And releasing, exactly the same on the other side. So getting the turn on your legs, moving the block over, chest is square, arms extended, shoulders relaxed. Reaching over to the left, left hand comes down, right arm extends up to the sky. Finding a good trikonasana pose with the legs, with the body, extending your arm up to the sky. And then taking your arm up and over, sweeping it over by the temple taking some of the weight off of the left hand and then if we're ready taking our arm up so they're both in line with our ears taking our body back up to center and then taking the tip back over to the left side lifting back up through the middle and tipping back over to the side slow and controlled movements working the waist extending out through the arms strong through the legs and releasing turning the legs twisting out through the waist just easing off moving your back your hips in any direction you need to to make it feel good well done guys thank you for joining me and jessica today i hope you enjoyed these moves like subscribe tell me how you get on all that shebang stay safe